reason 7869 to visit Cyprus. To try Papuchosica, of course. What are they? You might know them by a different name. Prickly pears in English, Figgy in India in Italian, and tuna in Spanish. But it has nothing to do with the fish, but rather it is the indigenous word of the Taino people for Papuchosica. For those of you who've never heard of or eaten Papuchosica, they are a cactus fruit full of thorns, making it a whole ordeal to peel them and eat them. So, why am I so fascinated with them? See, prickly pears were and are generally to this day considered an inferior or villagey fruit. This can be seen by the name we've given them here in Cyprus. In mainland Greece, they call them frangosica, which means Frankish figs, and therefore demonstrating their foreign and exotic nature. In Cyprus, however, they have a totally different name, Papuzosica. Papuzzi in Greek means a shoe, and siko, fig. It literally means shoe fig. There you go. This is because the pads from which the shoe figs grow out of look like shoe soles, or the exterior of the shoe figs is actually quite tough and leathery, like soles. However, there is another hidden meaning behind their name. Papuzosica are undesirable enough to be trampled by shoes or have the culinary currency of a shoe, i.e. I'd rather eat a shoe rather than XYZ. It's not really a fig which can be perceived as luxurious, but a shoe fig. I once overheard a discussion between a couple of 20-something ladies commenting on an old man eating shoe figs. Eww, my intahorkados and dudos, troy babutsosiga. Well, I am here to set the record straight. That grandpa in the village eating shoe figs is a worldly fruit connoisseur. An exotic fair foodie. This is because babutsosiga are actually indigenous to modern-day Mexico and the Americas in general. Shufix made their way to Europe by the Spaniards. They found out that they can make an expensive red dye by crushing a bug that feasted on this cacti. The second group of people who were very interested in Papuzosica were the various herbalists and botanists who were publishing books during the mid-16th and early 17th centuries. We have elaborate drawings of the plants from herbals as early as the 1550s. Nevertheless, Europeans were as skeptical in consuming shufix as they were about potatoes and tomatoes. And indeed, it wouldn't have been until the 19th century when they are frequently mentioned as edible fruit. De Gasparin, a French agronomist who visited Sicily in 1840, considered the shufix as the manna, the blessing of Sicily. It means what the banana means in the equatorial countries, and the breadfruit in the islands of the Pacific Ocean. I couldn't find exactly when shoe figs made their way in Cyprus, but due to the similarities in climate, culture, economy, and location in the Mediterranean, I think Cyprus didn't get shoe figs much later than the Sicilians. I am not sure if Venetians brought shoe figs in Cyprus before 1571, or if it was the Ottomans after 1571, or one of their trade partners who brought the Shufik here in Cyprus. One thing is certain, Papuzosica were here to stay, and you can literally see them everywhere in Cyprus. You can now even find Papuzosica pre-peeled and packaged in supermarkets, and they are absolutely delightful, and they have such a unique taste. Sometimes they remind me of pear or melon, and sometimes they even give me watermelon vibes. They are so special, and this comes from someone who doesn't consider himself a huge fruit person. However, shufix are in serious danger right now because of a bug called Pseudococcus. It originates from Mexico, but probably made its way to Cyprus through Africa. Countries there have used the bug to combat the shufi cactus, which was invasive to make way for grazing farmlands. A similar technique was used in Australia in an attempt to control the Babuzosico cacti population. Because carmine, the red dye which pseudococci produce, is quite waxy, it protects it naturally from many predators which would have eaten it, bringing balance to the ecosystem. So now, Shufik farmers have to find ways to protect them, such as pruning, airing, or spraying them with natural pesticides. But the majority of the wild Shufik cacti in Cyprus and in Europe in general are actually gonna meet an untimely death. Visit Cyprus and eat a Papuzosico while you still can. Warning, they have a lot of seeds. 
personally, I don't chew them thoroughly because I hate the sensation and sound of cracking seeds. But you do you. It's shoe fig, baby. Mm, mm, mm. Also, another thing that you should know is that there is this folk wisdom that you shouldn't eat too many because it might obstruct your bowels. But I've seen people not being affected by them at all or even get a mild laxative effect from them. So try one or two to see if they agree with you. I am starting a petition. From now onwards, don't call this fruit tuna, fiki di India, prickly pears or anything else. Call them shoe figs. It's such an iconic name. <laughs> Foodies, what do you think? Would you eat shoe figs? And if you have already tried them, did you enjoy them? Let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed watching this video, please consider subscribing to this channel. It will help out a lot. I will now pass the reins to the algorithm lords, hoping that they will lead you to another one of my videos that you might enjoy. This one. Until the next time. Bye.